Hi, I'm Michael Hyatt. And I'm Daniel Harkavy. Together, we wrote the new book, Living Forward. It's about how to stop drifting and get the life you want. But before we tell you about the book, I want to tell you a little bit about my friend Daniel. Daniel is a coach's coach. In fact, he was my executive coach for 10 years. Among his clients are some of the most powerful companies in the world. For more than 20 years, he and his team have coached leaders at companies like Nike, Chick-fil-A, and Wells Fargo. Building Champions, his company, is one of the largest leadership and executive coaching companies in the U.S. Let me tell you a little bit about my friend Michael. When I first met him, he was the CEO of Thomas Nelson Publishing, now a division of HarperCollins. He's a New York Times best-selling author, and his podcast is ranked among the top 10 in business. And he has been recently named one of the top 30 most influential leaders in business by the American Management Association. I'm really a planner by nature. For years, I've done strategic plans for the companies I've been involved in. I've helped my wife plan my daughter's weddings. We always plan a vacation, but it never occurred to me to plan my life until I met Daniel, and that's when everything began to change. You know, and it's really no surprise. Research has shown that the average American will spend five hours researching which car to buy. The average bride will invest 39 days to planning her wedding, but very few people will ever invest one day to put together a plan for their life. In our book, Living Forward, we coined the term drift. It's so easy for us to find ourselves off course. Maybe you find that your health is failing, or your marriage is broken, or your career is stalled, or you're just feeling unfulfilled. That's drift. When you look up and you find yourself far, far away from where you intended to be. Over the years, we have found that there are four primary causes for the drift. The first is that we're unaware. We're moving through life really as spectators, and the truth is we could be so much more in control. The second is that we're distracted. We're going through life and we're focused on just maybe one or two accounts in our life and we're giving the other areas of our life, the other accounts, really our leftovers. The third is that we're overwhelmed. I've got to face it, in today's times there's so much coming at us. There's a, many of us that are, are just trying to survive each and every day, not even thinking about the possibility of being much more in control. And the fourth is that we're deceived. We've bought the lie that we can get to what matters most tomorrow. So we put off really the, the, the areas of our life, the accounts in our life that are truly most important. You know, drifting has its consequences and there are at least five. The first one is confusion. When you're drifting, you don't have the clarity you need to direct your life and get to the goals that matter to you. Second consequence is expense. Drifting can be very expensive, whether you're trying to fix your health or fix your marriage or repair a relationship with your kids can get very expensive very quickly. Third consequence is lost opportunity. You know, when you're so busy just trying to keep up with the normal demands of life, all the demands from every quarter, it's hard to take advantage of the opportunities that would really propel your life forward in the direction that you want. Fourth consequence, pain. It can be painful to drift. It hurts when you're not in optimal health. It hurts when your marriage is not where it needs to be. It hurts when your, your career is not progressing like you'd want it to be. And then perhaps the most important of all is regret. When you're drifting, you end up at a place where you have deep regret. You're not in the place you want to be, you're not in the place you need to be, and you feel regret over it. So how do we prevent the drift from happening in our lives? It's the life plan. The drift is going through life in a reactive way. We're responding to everything that's coming at us. There's no plan, there's no intentionality. The life plan is going through life in a proactive way. It's having intentionality, it's having a plan. It's, it's a dynamic, short written tool that enables you to filter all of your decisions through so that you're living an intentional and proactive life. Designing your life plan is incredibly simple. All it takes is one day and all you have to do is answer three powerful questions. The first question is this, how do you want to be remembered? This is the question about legacy. The cool thing is how you're going to be remembered is something that you can engineer now, the memories of the people that you love about you. The second question is this, what matters most to you? This is the question about priorities. You probably know what's important to your boss. You probably know what your spouse considers important, 
But what's important to you? It's important that you figure that out. The third question is how do you get from where you are to where you wanna be? And this is the question about your action plan. And this is where you begin to lay out a plan to get from where you are now to where you wanna be in every area of your life. It's that simple. The best way we've found to fight the drift, to conquer it once and for all, is to develop a life plan. And when you do, your life will be different in three significant ways. The first is that you're going to have clarity. You're gonna have clarity around every area of your life that truly matters most to you. You're gonna have clarity around where you want to wind up in each area of your life. And then you're gonna have clarity on the action steps that you need to take each and every day in order to live the best life story. The second way that you'll be different is you'll have courage. A life plan acts as a filter. It helps you decide what is not as important so you can say yes to what's truly important. And then the third and final way that you're gonna benefit from having a life plan is that you're gonna have control. So often we go through life and we just feel that we're out of control. We, we, we think we control so much less than we actually do. Now we can't control everything, but we can control so much more than we believe. A life plan is your opportunity to take back control, to fight the drift and get a plan for your life. And it begins today.